Am I kind of making him look like Kiyoshi Ito? What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm Kelsey and I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I gave all of my children makeovers. Once upon a time I did the 100 baby challenge and I had 100 babies. Since then I've actually changed my style a little bit and I also love giving Sims makeovers. I never gave any of my children makeovers in the original challenge. I liked them to just like show me their own little personalities in their weird randomized ways. So today I thought it might be fun if I try for the first time to actually give all of my Sims makeovers and see what I would make them look like in 2022. So let's jump in. So we have our cast of characters. We have Brielle in Peach Shmay, Jamie in Peach Shmay, my demon child, Miles in Peach Shmay, Hazel in Peach Shmay, Charlie in Peach Shmay, possibly the favorite, and Olive in Peach Shmay, the firstborn in actual favorite. So first up, I would like to start with some skin details. I actually think I'm going to keep her eyebrows as are. I like the like angry tilt of them. She's a mean sim so i just think it's accurate i also like that she has dark brows and like lighter hair it's interesting to see them with cc i'm gonna think i'm gonna go with this one this strudel and we gotta give her some actual eyelashes so we're gonna remove the sims eyelashes give her some cc her up i feel like she gives me pretty big eyelash energy but not the biggest eyelash energy and then maybe we'll give her a little bit of blood Oh, wow. So pretty. All right, let's jump into these brows. Oh, yeah, this actually feels really good. Let's give her more of like a brown. Yes. And then I still kind of don't hate the bun, but let's see if there's any other like updos we could do. Oh, I really like this one for her. Or I feel like she could also rock one of these, like a high pony. I kind of keep the bun, but I'm going to give her like these little wispies, the CC version of the bun. I think that's cute. And it still gives me all of energy, which I love. Moving on. So she starts with like a pendulum top and these like brown pants and brown shorts. So she's giving me more like neutrals. So I think I might stick with that color palette, but maybe not this exact silhouette. I think it's a little dated to be honest. So let's pop into some custom content. She also seems like fairly covered up, fairly like mature. You know, she's like the eldest sister. So we might do like a, I don't know, like a gray sweater or something. It almost gave me like a business casual energy. So I feel like something like that also would work for her. I think I'm gonna go with sweater that we first kind of went with in the gray. I think that's a good option. It's kind of still the color palette of what she had before. And I actually like the shoes now with this ensemble. So I think I might keep the shoes. Yeah, I think this looks good. She still looks a little mean and like a little bit like she's going to kick your butt, but she's real cute. Maybe we'll give her like a bit of accessories and some earrings. You like in this kind of thing? Yeah, I like these like longer earrings with the updo. So this is our final look for Olive. Oh, absolutely perfect. Absolutely adore it. Love it, love it, love it. Next up, we're gonna do Jamie. He is our athletic musical vegetarian, but he's also a demon child. His face is a lot. His eyes are like, his pupils are real tiny. I don't know if there's any fixing his face shape, to be honest. His eyes are just so wild that I feel like nothing I do is going to do anything. Maybe grim cookies. There you go. Actually, that one's not bad. I like the grim cookies on him. It gives him very intense cheekbones, which I think is cute. And then we'll do just like some really short sparse eyelashes. For his brows, maybe we could fix something with the brows. I do feel like maybe the brows are a bit much. Yeah, I'm gonna do these brows, the wispies. I could also put some eyes on him. I feel like maybe that would make the eyes better. What, what color eyes do we have? Green? Maybe we'll give him like some green eyes and they won't look so very weird. He does look better with CC eyes. So we're gonna keep the CC eyes. And then for hair, he has like the short on the side, tall hair. I do like that a lot, actually. This short kind of on the side, tall hair. Oh, that's kind of cute on him. That one's cute. It doesn't give me the same cut though. This is short on the side and tall on the top. I like it. I like it. Picasso. Okay. Beautiful. My little demon boy. All right. So he wears cargos and this t-shirt. I actually think this is not a bad so outfit. Cool. Even matches the shoes, but let's go for like a, maybe a different graphic tee and bottom combination. They may be like this. Oh yeah. That looks great on him. And then we'll go for his shoes. We could do like a blue, maybe a blue kind of shoe to match the, oh, that's like kind of more the turquoise. I think that's okay. He gives me the energy of a man that enjoys 
a Converse shoe. So I feel like maybe Converse would be the move for this shoe if I can find the Converse looking shoes in The Sims. There they are. Ooh, they do come in blue though. I think the blue's kind of fun. Or the red. Red would be even better. Yeah, red's better. Yeah, I think he looks good. This is Jamie P. Pichishme. I like the ripped pattern jeans and the graphic tee. A little bit of a different graphic tee. I think it's great. The one thing I miss is like his pop of purple color. Like I did like that he had a bit of purple on his shirt. So I guess I could like give him a bit more of a colorful shirt, but it's okay. He has a pop of color on his shoes. Next up, we got Brielle in Pichishme, our famous thief of the family, who also hates children and loves food. Brielle classically has different colored eyebrows to her hair, which is very fun. I forgot about that. I get that blondes often have darker brows than their hair, but this is like just mustard looking eyebrows. It looks like she put mustard on her brows. She has a very angled chin, which I'm just realizing. I think I might go here. I like how it like softens her features. We're gonna add some lashes. I feel like she, oh wow, her eyes are huge. I just am realizing how big her eyes are. There's no way these are matching her hair. I feel like that matches her hair color. She's a bit coy. I think we could do kind of more of a coy look for her brow. Yeah, I like it. And then for her hair, I think we'd want to do, oh, I like the braids. The braids are kind of cute. I kind of like the idea of them still being in like two pieces, like her still kind of having, not the pigtails exactly, but a pigtails inspired look. I want you to look at her and still think of Brielle, our beloved pigtailed queen. Oh, this is cute. It's like an updated version, but it's a little more casual because, oh, I actually like this one where they're like little little bubbles. I think that's really sweet. So this is gonna be her hair and makeup. Aw, she still looks like Brielle to me, but just a little bit elevated. And then I actually really liked this dress that they put her in. I think it's cute. <laughs> Gotta get a little bit of a boho theme. So let's we're gonna stick with that kind of like a top and a skirt style, but we're gonna make it obviously CC. So let's give her maybe like this kind of top in the white and then maybe like a long skirt. Yeah, okay, this reminds me a lot of what she was rocking. And then we'll have more of like a wedge maybe, but she is like a thief. I want it to like feel like it's gonna stay on her foot. Maybe these ones will look better because they got a little, the nice little strap. Or we could even have like a flat. I feel like a flat would also make sense for her. She wore boots last time though that also had a heel. So maybe we should just go for the heel. Oh, here we go. I like this one because it's like a kind of low heel, but it's still a heel. It looks like it's gonna stay on her foot. Perfect. Okay, I'm liking this look. Maybe we would do more of a neck this for her. Some sort of accessory could be kind of nice. Maybe she stole it. She's got this little nice like little flower necklace. Very sweet. So this is my final look for Brielle and Pichishme. She is giving boho queen, casual, but also a little bit, you know, you don't know which way this girl's gonna go. Next up, we're gonna do Miles, the king of crop top. Obviously we're gonna keep the crop top. We can't let Miles go without a crop top. He's got an iconic style for a reason. He's an innovator. I really like this on Miles this marina. And then we will do a nice little, very chill eyelash. For his brows, I am not a fan, but I feel like he's a bit more of the stylish sim. So maybe we'll give him like a, a bit of a brow with like a little notch in it just for fun. So his hair is pretty normal. I feel like this boy is a bit more like into making some spicy choices with his hair. So I feel like we could actually have a bit more fun with him in his hairstyle than maybe the others because I just feel like he's a bit more of the type of boy to wear a crop top. Like he'd be more the type of boy to take a risk with his hair. I kind of like this one on him. I think it kind of suits his face. I like Miles in that. Crop top, baby. I'm not seeing a CC crop top. So I'm gonna take off masculine and see if there's any crop tops in the feminine custom content that maybe we could rock. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely an option. Here's another crop top and that's from a new pack. Okay, I kind of like this. It's a bit bold, but I think he could rock it. I also think this one's really fun on him too. I almost wonder if we do the mesh, but this just seems more in the Miles and Peachy Schmay energy. I like the blue, but I feel like this isn't as casual. I feel like he'd have to be going out to wear that crop top. It's very bold and flashy. Whereas the other one looked more like he's gonna go work out. I just love the crop top. I can't in good conscience like take it away from him. I just feel like he is the crop top and the crop top is him. But I will change the pants. I will change everything else. Ooh, I like these like high-waisted jeans as well. I think that like goes really well with the crop top. Although part of me wants to wear like these kind of ones, make them a little more flashy. Have like a bit of a, a bold moment with his pants. Ooh, we could give him a skirt too. The skirt does look good with the top. But I think at the end of the day, I really like these 
these jeans. Maybe we'll do them with like kind of a acid wash kind of energy. And then for shoes, I think he could go sandals with it. You know, it seems like a warm weather kind of look. I think he can go flip flops, but maybe make them pink. No, this all looks kind of weird together now that I'm looking at it. It all looks like he brought his whole outfit and he like pulled it up to his chin. I think we might need like a lower waisted pant just to make this work a little bit better. So maybe we will do like just a ripped jean in like a, still an acid wash, I think. But there you go. And then we'll do like a tennis shoe, I think. Ah. Oh, wow, yeah, the ah! Made me feel like he's right on board with me. I think I'm gonna go with these shoes. They're kind of cool. They got a bit of a flair to them. I think that's nice. Also, he gives me the energy of a boy that might paint his nails. Uh, nothing but support for boys who paint their nails. So I'm going to have him paint his nails. Boom. This is Miles and Peaches May. I love his new look. You know, I it's not that much different than the old look. Moving on. We've got Hazel and Peaches May, who hates children but loves music and being goofy. Love Hazel. She is so cute. I'm very, very excited to give her a makeover. Okay, what do I envision for Hazel? I love that she is like into spring dresses. She's giving me summer girl. She's giving me spring girl. And I like that her iconic braid is pretty memorable. So we'll keep there. So we're gonna go into skin details more. She's just got like a very soft face, I feel like. She does have a double eyelid, so we'll keep the double eyelid. I feel like she could have some pretty lashes. Is there like an in-between of lash. I want like a, a lash that isn't so gargantuan, but isn't so small either. Yeah, that looks good. She also has dark brows and blonde hair. So it makes me think like she dyes her hair, which brow, this one looks good. It's just so straight, but it's fine, it's fine. We're also gonna give her a bit of blush. We didn't give Brielle blush, but I guess she didn't need it. I actually didn't give any of the Sims makeup now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe I'll start now. The hair. So we're gonna do blonde, obviously, and we're gonna do a braid. Oh, she looks so so cute with this though. I honestly might want to just do this. I know it's going against kind of the hazel look, but she looks so pretty with that. I've been denying myself giving Hazel a makeover for way too long. Look at how pretty she is with all of these hairs. After long consideration, I'm going with my original plan. I'm giving her this hair. I can't under good conscience see her in this hair and then not give it to her. It's just way too cute. All right, let's give her some makeup. Also, I feel like we'll give her some eyes, some CC eyes. I just think they might look pretty on her. Let's do the sweet lies eyes. And we'll do like the, I think she's like a light brown. Oh yeah, she looks so pretty with that. And then we'll give her some nice little blushy cheeks. There we go, cute. And then we'll do maybe just the blush and some lip gloss. She definitely suits these like peachy kind of glosses very well, I think. I actually really like that, but it makes me want to change her blush so it matches more. There you go. <gasps> she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're gonna give her like a cute little spring dress. I'm gonna go into custom content. This one comes in a blue with like a floral pattern that reminds me a lot of the one she was already wearing. But I think my favorite it might be this one. Oh, isn't she perfect in that? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep her in that. And then these blue shoes have got to go, okay? These tennis shoes, uh-uh. I can kind of get behind maybe like giving her flats, although she looks really cute in like a little heel. Listen, this looks way too cute. I don't think I can in good conscience not give her heels. She's gotta have some nails. Just a nice French manicure. There you go. Oh, so, mwah. This is Hazel and Peach Shmay made over. I feel like I kept like most of their aesthetics in these other makeovers, like where they still look very much like the Sim that we started with. But I feel like Hazel, I went a little bit more into my style and I really like it. So yeah. And last but not least, we have Charlie and Peach Shmay with the long hair. Arguably one of the absolute fan favorites, Charlie and Peach Shmay, our beloved darling baby angel. So I'm gonna give Charlie also a, a grim cookies. Oh yeah, I think he nails a groom cookies. I also feel like he could do like a floor monolid. Oh yeah, I think this is a good combo. And then we need to do like a bit of an eyelash, I think. Maybe just a really light one, yes. Brows, I think he needs more of a brow. Why does he have like sad face? He has this like, I think I'm gonna also give him some CC eyes. I didn't give everyone CC eyes, but the people I gave CC eyes to, I really liked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give him some little brown CC eyes as well. That looks good, perfect. And then we're gonna give Charlie some new hair. So he is more of like a long haired boy. I have plenty of long haired boy options. I think this one's always my favorite, so I might go with that one. That one's also very sweet on him too. He just has such a sad boy energy to him for some reason. Is it the eyes? Maybe I need to change his CC eyes. 
Yeah, I think it was a little bit the eyes. We'll just take the eyes off. There he goes. Okay, and so he's like mostly white. He wore a white graphic tee and white pants. Yeah. I'm gonna try to kind of mimic this as much as I can, but I'm also just going to give him whatever I want. He could wear like kind of this. <gasps> He looks so good. Am I kind of making him look like Kiyoshi Ito? No, that's not the goal. Oh my gosh. He'd be a soft boy with like a nice soft boy sweater. Oh wow, I've never looked through all of these swatches. They are so cute. Oh, I like that one a lot actually. Oh, you know what? I actually think this looks really good on Charlie. Maybe we'll go with this for Charlie and then we'll give him kind of like some lighter pants. We'll give him some denim, but like a, a light gray or something. I think maybe the white might be good with it. Yeah, and then we'll give him some, what are these yeah. shoes? They're like brown. I think the white makes sense. Something about the top is not speaking to me anymore. So let's let's keep looking. I think I like this. I just don't love the white jeans now that I'm seeing it all together. I think this is good. And then we'll give you more of like a shoe shoe. I like these ones. I like this outfit for Charlie. I think it makes sense. Charlie and Peachy Schmay. Yeah, I think he looks very sweet. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So here are the final looks. So first we have Brielle with her sweet kind of boho vibe that she still had in the Not So Berry Challenge, but it's a little dressed up. We got Jamie and Peach our demon boy. He's got more of demonic looking eyes, which I just think mwah, absolutely perfect. And he of course has his classic graphic teeth. Next up, we have a Miles and Peach with his iconic crop top that I just couldn't bear to part with. He's got a bit more extra flair for his hair. And he's got some nice rips and even his lovely nail polish. I am pretty proud of Miles's look. Okay, next up, we have have Hazel and Peter Schmay, possibly my favorite character that I made over, probably because I went really off book with Hazel, but I absolutely love it and I think she looks really cute. Charlie and Peter Schmay, I think still looks a lot like Charlie, but just an updated 2022 version, which is absolutely perfect. And last but not least, we have the Queen Bee, Olive and Peter Schmay with her iconic top knot, but looking like a little bit, you know, profesh, a little more put together. So let me know how you guys enjoyed these makeovers. Let me know if you want me to do even more of the kids of the 100 baby challenge. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. This may be very nostalgic for the 100 baby challenge. I'm not saying I would ever do another 100 baby challenge, but I'm not not saying I wouldn't do another 100 baby. What am I saying? No, I would not. No, 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 no.